Is there a checks and balances system for the court, meaning is there a way judges remain just and do not abuse their power even if corrupt or even if corrupt, corrupted by the Illuminati? Okay, I'm going to have to beg off on that one. I am not competent to answer that question. That's, that's really okay. Matthew's. Okay, now yeah, this question favorite. I believe has already been answered. Am I correct, Matthew? I, but do you want to add to this? I, to me, that does sound like a new question. All um, right, all right. It, it's handled in the foundation documents of the court, and this goes to the essence of correctly applying law. See, if you're a real court, in other words, um, you're doing what a real court is supposed to do, law is public. You know, say there's a corrupt judge, right, and he just wants to, you know, favor the Illuminati. Well, if the law is not on their side... Any judge would be humiliated by, you know, it, I mean, to be that corrupt judge and make that corrupt ruling, you'd have to ignore a law. You would get so ostracized. All the other judges would literally come and hit you over the head with their gavels. Probably, gavels probably don't feel so good on your head. Um, I mean, honestly, I mean, you, how could you not out yourself for being corrupt? Now, in government courts, they dismiss and ignore laws every day, but in a real court, if the, the law is there and the argument has been made, it must be dealt with. And th there's a tradition of judiciary opinions. When judges make a ruling, they don't just say, I proclaim. They have to write a scholarly opinion, and they have to write why they dealt with adverse facts and why they decided that a certain fact or law doesn't apply. And the other judges have a right to write dissenting opinions. So a, a corrupt judge is not going to last 10 minutes in a court like this, where now, and a lot of these international judges, like me, are angry. They're fed up that their countries have already been corrupted, their 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 cultures have been damaged, their their lives have been comp, uh, have been, you know, they're not having good lives. These are angry judges like me. I think you can tell I'm angry. I want to hurt some bad guys. I really do. I'm not happy at what they've done with society, with how they've damaged our countries. But the other judges feel like this. A corrupt judge in our isn't going to last 10 minutes before we sniff them out and hit them over the head with a gavel. And I'm, I'm waiting for one of those guys to show up because I'll hit first. Okay. <laughs> so it's in the judiciary opinion that they get exposed because, you see, if you just say, I proclaim, and it's a corrupt judgment, every, the world will be able to see that that was a bad judgment and that any of the other judgments can, uh, judges can step in and invalidate that judgment and correct it. Okay. Uh, well... I think I think we you know that's an that's an interesting question in the sense that um, you know on a certain level uh, how you addressed it earlier uh, and again to some degree this time talking about it's in the original sort of founding documents of the court itself um, yeah, which say that it must be a fully reasoned transparent judiciary opinion this court doesn't allow judges to just say oh he's not guilty. And, and nobody knows why, and nobody can argue. That's not allowed by this court's charter. Every, every, any judge that makes a ruling, they're going to have to practically write a doctorate dissertation and deal with every fact and every point of law and which way they go. And that means that it's transparent to the whole world and to every other judge to, to criticize. That's how real justice is done. And that's how uh, the original principles of justice in, in history uh, were founded. It works. It's a good system. It works. And I don't like that state courts now just do whatever they want and they don't need a reason. That's not real justice. I'm sorry. They should, all those judges should be disbarred.